Hello guys in this next part and yeah in this part uh, we will do a reflection so basically our ball will bounce off the walls and they will not disappear for now but we will make them disappear and uh, then I will do the level creation and how to change the levels I mean yeah how, how to change the level after you finish uh, one level. So let's start with the blocks. So let's go to the sprites and we have a square that I provided. We can drag it out and this will be our uh, basic block. And I want to make it bigger so we'll scale it by two so it can it will be visible or m maybe even three I think. Well, what happened? Three is okay. So, three is not important, but I like to keep everything the same. So let's move it mm, somewhere to the right. The color, you can keep it at white. And we'll make, uh, we'll, we'll have to add a collider because we want this to be colliding with our ball. So we want to add the box collider 2D because it's a 2D game. And I think that's it. We will make it a prefab, but first we want to add the tag for our block. And this will be called uh, obstacle or maybe block. Okay, let's call it block. And we have to click on it again and let's assign the tag that we created. And we will use tag so we can uh, we can detect when we uh, collide with our block and I usually use layers but in this case uh, for that simple collisions we can use tags but most, mostly I don't use tags because I don't like them because you have to give it a string and I prefer layers because you use uh, integers uh, but never mind guys <laughs> it's not important well, let's call this one a block and we will make a prefab from this so let's drag it down here and now we have a prefab and after we have it we can duplicate it so I will uh, click ctrl D to duplicate it to the left and we will just basically check if they are they will bounce uh, left right left right so let's go to our player and we'll detect the collision in our player. So let's go to the player controller. Okay, so I have my script on, let's make it bigger. So control plus, yeah, control plus. It's very big, but I hope you can see everything nicely. And let's scroll down and I will add a new function and it will be, uh, a unity function that unity will call so it is called on collision enter but where is it on collision enter to d and remember to add uh, to d at the end because otherwise it will not uh, detect the collision because we are work working into d and the collider is to d so remember to do that because I had this problem that I had on collision enter without 2D and I was thinking for half an hour why it's not working. But then I found that I missed 2D. So now we want to know when we hit our, when we hit something, wh what is it? So we'll get a variable from this method call and it will give us other. So we will want to check if other is a block. So if other and we want to compare the tag so dot compare tag okay something is not working okay it should be other that game object that compare tag and now you can compare the tag and we want to compare it with block and you have to have the same name as in the tags otherwise it will not work and this is why I, I don't like this approach because you have to hard code, uh, hard code it in. And I prefer layers because you can just set up them in the inspector. We can make this ring uh, 
uh, public and so we can change the name of it in inspector but uh, I, I see no, no sense in, in that so uh, okay why I use compare tag I just want to do a quick note because a lot of people oh a lot of people they do something like this so if other that tag oh my gosh game object that tag uh, equals double equals and here you just write block uh, and then they check the condition and they check they do something in here so the difference is that this method is more expensive because here when you are assigning uh, you are uh, checking if they are the same you basically are you are basically creating a new string uh, which will hold the block data so you will have a new string that contains the block name and then you check with the, the tag and here you don't do it and that's why this one is more performant and uh, I don't know if a lot of people know, know it but uh, I read about it and always use this this function like this method because this one is more expensive and here you don't create uh, garbage basically and we don't want to create any garbage so it's a small quick tip for you guys so it can help you a lot so let's check so here if we hit our block we want to reflect our direction so we want to change our direction so we will use a method that is called vector2 that uh, reflect but it will it need two arguments and so you have uh, in direction and you have in normal and we have to get them somewhere so in direction we will get from our velocity current velocity that is going uh, our ball is going towards and in normal is basically a normal from our wall so we want to get the normal from our wall so let's do it so first we I will create a local variable local called wall normal and to get a normal we just want to get into our other thing that we hit and we want to get the array of contacts so uh, basically here this array just contains the points that you hit with your ball and we want to get the first one uh, which we hit it and we want to get its normal so this will retar return your normal normal of the wall and now uh, after we know the angle we can uh, make a new direction which we want our player to go so we can make uh, we can change our direction so we have this vector free uh, called m direction and we want to assign it to a new uh, direction so we want to use this function vector 2 that reflect so let's add it and let's paste it here and in direction will be our velocity current velocity so m that reaches to d that velocity this will give us the indirection that we are currently going and the wall normal that we just calculated we also have to pass it in and this will basically just uh, flip our uh, direction so now after we calculated this direction we want to change our velocity of our ball so we want to assign a new velocity to our ball so it will be the new direction that we just calculated we just assign to our m direction and we want to move, multiply it by our move speed okay so here is our okay <laughs> here's our uh, new velocity and at the end of this vector to that reflect we want to normalize this because we want to get uh, a unit vector so it will have a length of one that's why we are normalizing it so this is pure uh, direction so yeah let's save it let's see if it works let's go back to the project okay so let's see this has uh, a tag or block this also has a tag of block let's see if it works let's click play okay you have two sprites i, I think i will change the color uh, a bit so you can see see it better so let's go down 
let's change it to something very ugly okay oh this is nice color this gray and um, maybe a bit darker okay this one is very nice color so let's see if it works so i click here i move it to the right okay and it's not working and the uh, question is why so uh i really don't know why but i have i think i can find the solution so basically this has no collider so our player has no collider we have to add a collider collider to our player so it will be a circle correct circle collider 2d and now it should work let's see if it fits nicely unity should automatically make it fit perfectly and now it should work i hope so let's move it to the right and yeah it's working as you can see it, it is bouncing very well and let's check if it can bounce on some angles so i will rotate this thing uh 45 degrees on the z-axis as you can see here i will copy it down so i will move it down like this and move it down to the left and move it copy it again and move it up and i want to delete this one so i want to see if they will uh, reflect nicely so it should move down if it hits this one and it should bounce okay it's bouncing nice uh, it's not perfectly uh, 90 degrees because okay now it is because uh, you have your mouse and you have to move it in a straight line. So as you can see, this will bounce in, uh, inf into infinitive. I don't know how to say it. And yeah, uh, this will be it for this part. And next, in the next part, we will make them disappear. And and also it will count how, how much uh, blocks did you hit and it will detect when you hit all the blocks. So. Uh, that will be it guys another there's uh, one problem that you can basically spawn a ball inside uh, a block and it's a not no it's not good so we don't want that oh so i think uh, let's see let's check the time i'll check the time okay it's 13 minutes so we will fix that in the next one so thank you guys for watching and uh yeah uh <laughs> Goodbye, guys.